10 out of 10. I mean, what can be said after that? No, it was the, it was obviously the idea and the plan. Uh, <coughs> once we started the qualifying campaign, we knew it was going to be difficult, but obviously the games went on and the lads performed really well. Um, it became more realistic that it could happen and thankfully um, yeah, the win, on the win against Sony at home set it up for tonight and obviously the boys um, put a good performance in. Yeah, great way to finish off you know, the group stage qualifying campaign, 10 out of 10 um, in terms of wins and a, a very solid performance tonight. And how did you enjoy yourself leading the team out for the first time? Yeah, it was fantastic, you know, a great honour, uh, something I never thought would ever happen but it's nice, uh, obviously I'll get my shirt signed and things like that now and get photos put up and stuff like that. You know, it's something that I'm really proud of. Um, no one could take that away from me now and it was nice. Obviously the boys decided to win 3-0 as well, so a uh, perfect night. Um, you know, coming into, the, coming into the squad after they've done so well up until now, just wanted to, to enjoy it and, and try and help them I can to achieve, achieve those 10 wins and, and take a real belief into the, the friendlies coming up. In the actual game itself, what was it like to play and what was the surface like? Was that a problem at all? Uh, it's not a problem, it's just a bit different. It was really, really quick. You know, when you pass the ball, it doesn't slow down at all. Uh, you can see a few people running the ball out of play and a few passes, you know, uh, a little bit too firm and things like that. But um, we, you can't really complain, it's just something different. I think if you got used to playing on it week in, week out, it'd be something that you could use to your advantage. But uh, thankfully for us, we play on grass and uh, it'll be nice to get back to the weekend. You played with Ross for a while, you had another good good game tonight and you're both European champion winners before, so what sort of qualities has he got that he can bring to us next summer? I mean, we saw it back then on the 17 level, he was he was an athlete at first, you know, he was he had extreme power, you know, in the air, both feet, he got around the pitch extremely well. And so we all knew he was gonna be a great player, it was just a, just how good he was gonna be and he's he's shown in the last couple of years coming through for Everton and, and the England sides that He's got that ability, that vision and an ability to finish a, a goal as well. So he's a, he's a fantastic player, one that I'm sure is going to get even better as he gets older. So he's, you know, he's a brilliant asset to have in the squad. And someone who's been around the setup for a while, what is the qualities of this team that have shone through for you this campaign? Um, well, I think just the, the smooth transition from sort of um, different, different personnel. You know, people have come in and just took off where the player before has and... You know the competition for places is is really difficult, but at the same extent, it's a, it's a good rivalry, it's a good you know friendly atmosphere and stuff. When you come, everyone's on the same page, everyone wants to win games, and thankfully that's what we've done. And what are your aims now, from your own personal perspective? To go back to Stoke, keep performing as, as well as I can, um, and stay in this squad. Ultimately, I, I want to play as many games as I can for England. You know, but. Um, Go back, train hard, perform as well as I can for Stoke and then come back into the squad and try and put a little bit of pressure on you. And that clean sheet is something you'll take with you? Always, yeah, yeah. You never get bored of keeping clean sheets.